Hi, this is Patricia Prickett, Prickett, week one of Bio 240. Today is November 5th, 2017. Today I am going to give a presentation lesson on labeling our pictures for our lab homework for the week. So uh, my cameraman's going to come over here. You can still see my arms and my hands, but for him to be able to get me in the full view, uh, he's got to move over. So for me, this was a struggle when I first started uh, taking this class, Bio 230, actually. This was a struggle for me because I am not computer savvy. So my kids, um, aka my cameraman over here, had to show me how, how to do this, and I'm still actually learning. So what I did in this situation is I took a snapshot, a screenshot of the photo on our lab homework for the week. So today we're labeling the, um, this is the uh, anterior and posterior pituitary, and I'm going to label the acidophil cell, the basophil cell, and the pituocyte cell. So, <clears throat> I don't know the names of these things, but there's a little, like, it almost looks like to me like a little suitcase or, or a lock type thing. I click on that, and then it gives me a little toolbar down here. One of the things on the toolbar is a text. So I hit the text, and it comes right there, and, I, and I'm sorry, but when I blew this up, it looks very um, blurry. So in the text, um, I'll write on this one... Um, acidophil cell. Then I take my mouse and I drag actually down here. I'll drag this down here like so. And then I go back up to my toolbar and there's a little mark here. It looks like a little pencil with a squiggly. So I take that, I, mark, I click on it, and then I will come down to my screen and when I see the little little mark the pencil or whatever it is then I click and I make a line and then I'll point to it there's also one that where you can put an arrow on it and I typically try to use that but sometimes when the page is small the arrow takes up my whole picture so it's hard to do so I just draw a line to what I'm going for and in this situation is the acidophil cell. Okay, so then next I go back up to my toolbar again and I'll hit text again. Sorry, this is not... Okay, there we go. I hit text again. I'm going to move it up a little bit so that I don't run into the first box that I put. So then this is the basophil cell. Oops. Make sure we're spelling properly here. Then I scroll up a little bit until I see my little hand, which means then I can move that to wherever I want. So then I move it. I go back up to my toolbar. And then I hit the sketch button again. And then draw my line. Oops. Apple computers, I'm still trying to learn this. So then I draw my line to such. Okay. And then next I hit the text button, little T, text again, and then I move it up so that I can write. But then I, I'm going to go up here to the posterior pituitary anyways. And then I'm going to do my pituocyte cell. Move it up there a little bit. Go back up to my toolbar. Oops, there's my. And then point to whatever it is that I'm wanting to point to. Again, like I said, you typically want to use an arrow, but the problem with, and, and I'm trying to learn this MacBook, is that um, you can go to this little button right here and click down, and it shows you an arrow. And you can point on that arrow, but again, the problem with the pictures for our lab assignment. Sometimes that arrow takes up my whole 
picture. So I'm still trying to learn this system and back up a little bit so they can see that it's still me. Um, I'm still trying to learn this system, so for me to teach this is actually kind of funny because I'm still learning myself. If it wasn't for my kids who are tech savvy, I'd be in a whole lot of trouble. So then once I'm done with that, then um, let me make my page small again. Okay, so then I'm basically done with it. So then, then I'm going to label it. So I go to this little um, arrow up here and it says edit. So I'm just going to write pituitary um, label. And then I am going to, now I don't know that if this is right or if this is the only way you can do it, but I hit return. And then it's basically, or, or you can exit out. I don't know, for whatever reason I hit return first. But then you just exit out. And then, like I said originally, I had screenshotted this photo here. And I'll just show you really quick so you know that I did it myself. Um, the way you do that is you hit shift and then this command apple button here on an Apple computer and then the number four. And then you get like a little plus sign. You click on your, key, on your uh, little pat, mouse pad here. You click and hold on to it and then you pull your screen down. And then when you lift up, it takes a screenshot and it saves it over to the right side of my computer. So, um, so that's how you do that. Okay, so then the one that I labeled after I labeled it, it saved it automatically. So there it is there as you see. Okay, so then is what I do is I click into this box and I hit the delete button so that it deletes that original photo that was already there. Now, you can back up for a minute. Now the thing is is that every, every week isn't typically like this. Usually we're taking our own photos. So it is easier for me to do it that way. So, okay, so then come back in. So then I take my photo here, and I drag it across into the box and let go. And then there's my label photo. So that is the lesson this week on how to label photos. Thanks and have a great week.